like doing it. All right, welcome everybody. Stream card breaks. Hey, all I'm gonna do is just open up a BGS submission we had. Uh, Vinny had a couple cards in here, so I just wanted to open it live. Uh, I do do submissions about once a quarter, um, as long as I don't have an alike card of it. So basically, if it's serial numbered, I'll submit it for you guys. If it's not serial numbered, it can only be the only one. So like a base, like McKay rookie or something like that, it can only be like one. Or if you have five, I don't care as long as it belongs to one person. But I'd rather do serial numbers easier to track for everybody. Let me see what we got here. They got a whole crap load of paper up on top. Oh man. Alright. They're gonna make me stand up and get this thing out. How about a bubble wrap from all hell? What the heck? That's why I got a knife. They really. Make sure you get this thing good. Holy cow. It's like the ever ending bubble wrap. There was only like 20 some cars total submitted. Man, they really went all out. Let's see if we got any black labels out of it. Well, they actually put these in plastic cases this time. Last time I didn't give them cases. All right. I don't know what's what in here. Just going to look at them. This one here is a uh, Brandon McKay Bowman Draft Chrome Refractor 9510. Trying to see where I get the Vinnies at here. 9510 regular McKay autograph. I'm just looking to see if any some of these, man, they're really crazy on their grades. We got here 9510 Royce Lewis. That's draft. Try to get to yours, Vinny. I don't know where they're hiding at. 9510 Gold Vientos draft. Not close to a 10. This one they got me on. Hyora Green 959 on the auto. All because that little freaking smudge right there. Well, Kind of hard to see. Yep, and then Black Label Logan Ice, 1010. Just missed it on corners. That was kind of hard to see. Oh, no problem. I don't mind doing it. Anytime I got stuff going out, I'll let you guys know. Dang. We got here Zimmer, 9510 Gold Refractor. Well, don't look like I'm going to get the Black Label. I think there's only one more left after this. 10-10, Hyora, just missed it on centering. Uh, it's kind of hard to... There we go. Kind of hard, 10-10, Hyora. I don't have any more ears hiding out here. 9-5-10, Blue Warmoth. Uh, none of those are it. 9-5-10, Abreu Gold, that's from Bowman Chrome. There's a draft of, uh, who's this, McKay, 9510. Got a nice card. That's this. Uh, oh, you know what? That's where they got me with this one. Still can't believe it. I want to see what they said on this. Hold on. I know what's in here. That is really odd. That one I was telling you about, Vinny, it's saying it had a shaved edge, but it's pulled straight out of a freaking pack. Huh, that's nuts. We'll get to yours here eventually. Oh, here's one. There's your Harper. Just missed a 10. 10 centering, 9-5 corners, 9-5 edges, 9-5 surface. Real nice card. <laughs> You're curious. Well, you saw what I submitted. I showed you on the picture. I'll put this in a better plastic thing when I send it out to you. 
Nope, no black labels. I see the other one already. There's a Dale Bowman's Best 9510. Just so you guys can kind of see the grades. New message for what? I don't even know. Uh, Royce Lewis 1010. Just missed it on corners. And get it. There we go. Just missed black label on the corners. Yeah, I don't know how that. I'm gonna get a black label one day. This is a McKay Gold Refractor. Here comes your next one here, Benny. I just seen it. Nine five ten. And they were hard on best man. Wow. Ten centering, nine five edges, nine corners. All I needed was a nine five on corners. It would have been a ten. I'll pull it out a little bit. So here was the triple auto. This is what they're saying, if I can get it up here. Eight centering, which I have no idea how they determined eight on centering, unless they're saying because of Watkins or Watson's elbow being off the picture. I have no idea. I'm not seeing it. They're saying edges is a nine. Sur corners nine five. And uh, surface 10. Surface had to be a 10 because I looked that dang thing over. And the corners were perfect to me, so 9.5. I just don't see how they got edges that way. And, oh, you know what? I bet you they got you on the back for centering. That, that could be the only way, but that's still... They must be going top to bottom. Look at this back up here. They have to be going top to bottom for centering on the back. I would have never guessed that. It's a 10 auto. Which is big because you got an auto, a 10 on a 3 way auto to me. If I can get it in here. I, I can't believe it. I really thought he was getting a 9.5 back out of it. Here was your question on that prism. I did submit one. So this is Juju Smith-Schuster. Green out of 99 or something like that. Yeah, 99. So, it was a 9, 5, 10. Now if I can just get the numbers up in here. Kind of hard to see it. Let me try getting it out of the bag. Put my hand behind it. Come on. Well, anyhow, it says 9, 5 centering. So that's almost perfect centering like that. Edges was 10. Corners, they got it on a 9 somehow. I don't get it. Surface, 9, 5. I don't get it. These were Donruss Optic, Ray Rookie, Schuster, 9, 5, 10. <laughs> oh, they got me here. 9, 10. 10 centering, 9-5 edges, 8-5 corners, 10 surface. I had to, we must have had the hard grader. That's out of 50. These are almost impossible to get, 9-5s. 9-10 Watson. Check this out. 9-5 <laughs> centering. 9 on edges. 8-5 on corners. I don't get it. Oh, maybe the back? I don't know. Because that black on the back, I'm betting you. We were talking about this uh, in Platinum. I was talking to him about it. 8 5 corner, surface of 10. Well, check this out. This is out of 10 Watson, out of contenders. Or 15. 9 5 centering, 9 edges, 9 corners, 9 5 surface. They're crazy on that one. But it's no point even resubmitting it. I could maybe get 9 5 if they get edges or corners on it, but I don't know. I think we have some tough grades. I don't know. Well, Beckett's not real tough. I mean, Bowman seems to go real good. I'm going to show you this. Is it a sleeve in here? So I pulled this. A 9-10 freaking uh, Bowman's Best Armenteros. 9 out of 10 red, right? This is what they said. That it was a no-go. Oh, I can't even get that in there. There it is. Because of shaved edges. 
How is it a shaved edge when you pull the freaking card out of here? So what it is, is it Bowman miscut? I'm going to probably send it off to PSA. They're saying it's on the back. Here it's shaved and here, but it's not. It's off the printing thing. I've now heard, because I talked about this in a couple different people, and they're saying that they get a ton of these like this back. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm going to keep the Watsons. I mean, he's going to be hot eventually. All it does just secures it and say 910s on him, but I think Juju 910 and that PR, I'll probably just toss on the bay. See what it comes out to. Yeah, I still can't believe it though. Where does go? I think I already need here. I'll put those out. Those are yours there. Yeah, I still can't believe that. Centering on yours is eight. I, I just don't get it. It's gotta be the back. I mean, 85 is still not bad. It gives it near mint. I mean, you can try PSA. It'd probably come back a 9. PSA is a little bit more lenient. They were on centering. I haven't done PSA in years. From what I've seen, I've seen some PSA 10s that were like 60 40 centering, and I don't know how they do it. I haven't done enough research onto it, to be honest. I would guess if you set it in, it should come back at minimum a 9 on it. But I, I don't know what their centering policy is. With, with um, back it, you got the four things. So I've seen it before where you have two 9.5s come back and two 10s. But they're harder on the centering. And I want to say it was surface or two big ones that have to be the 9.5s. If you get a 9, I know in centering, you're pretty much just done. Unless the rest are all 9.5s or 10s. But I'm pretty sure if you look on PSA's website, it says like 60-40, I believe. It might be might be 55-45 for a 10. So I think a 9. I, I forget how they do it. Vinny's still there? I guess not. He might have popped out. Yeah, I was just kind of shocked by it overall. I mean, it was a decent amount of cards for grade-wise, but I mean, I've had better submissions. I it, it all goes off the person's eye, and I guess this is what they use here. <laughs> I never noticed that. Hmm. Oh, you're here? Okay. Yeah, it's just not showing up on the screen. Yeah, I'm not too... I would probably... You could get them re-slabbed by them. But the only thing is, I don't know if they look at this overall, what, what the other grading company did or not to it. I don't even know how hard these things are to open, to be honest. I think it's the top up here where it has the Beckett or something like that. That's where the seal is onto it. I know there's some videos on YouTube on how to open them. I just, I'm skeptical on trying to open anything. Uh, it was 8 on centering, 9 on edges, 9 5 corners, 10 surface. I mean, the hardest thing I was worried about was all 3 autos, honestly. I was just hoping you get a 10 on the auto on the back. I was thinking it was going to come back a lot better than this. I'm just not seeing how they got you on edges. Hold on. Where did I put my little handy dandy device? You mean an optic? Let me see something here real quick. I just bought this thing. Oh god, this thing's bright. Let me see something here.
try to move this away a little bit. Kind of hard to see with the glare in the glass. Oh, well, put back in here. They're saying on the back. See the little marks right here the back top right and the bottom is shaved but I'm not seeing how they say it's shaved I mean that's how I came out of the freaking pack I'm trying to see well, here's your best I mean, that's pretty much lined up. I don't know. Hmm. Now I looked at the back of yours with it. It's I don't see it. I don't know. I'm going to try magnifying it later and taking a look at it better and seeing where the heck they're looking at. To me, I don't see it. I don't know. Still eluding the black label out of like a hundred submissions now in the past year. Can't believe it. Harper looks real nice though. Just missed the 1010 on it. That'll still get you some money on a Harper, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> if I had that steady of a hand to shave cards and make them perfect, holy cow. That'd be insane. It really would. Let me see. Everybody's out for these grades. Getting emails about other contenders. See, everybody's running the same contenders issues. Now, like when you're selling the high value ones, you tell people what them graded, they want like up close pictures. Nuts. But I'm gonna get a uh, select in the store tonight too. I, I had no idea it was getting released. Every Monday, I have a meeting with, like, the marketing team. I go over to Calendar and all this stuff. And I'm like, well, since last Monday, it changed. I had no idea it was this Friday. No idea. It's always been next Wednesday, same day as Tribute. So I'll get that in the store tonight. I have the prices worked out. And then uh, I'll toss them in there. Whatever doesn't sell, like, again, by Thursday night, go on auction Friday. We'll bust it Saturday, probably. I don't think I have anything that day. Pro oh, wait, I do. I got a card show I'm popping into. So probably about two or three. Oh, how many cards were graded? There's another stack over here. They were saying this one was shaved, and I, it was freshly pulled out of the pack. 
And I know for a fact <laughs> the card was not shaved. I, I, I know for a fact. I'm not even that skillful in shaving them. I'll probably do another submission. I got a couple cards coming in now. I'm trying to see if I want to do one here end of month or not. If I do, I'll post it. I'll give you guys like a two weeks out. You sure? I mean, I'll set them off tonight. I'll get them all packaged up. If you want, I mean, if you want, to see, want pictures of them for eBay or something, I'll give them to you too. Just let me know. But I'll get a select out tonight in the store um, for football. The way that it'll work, there's three XRC cards. So this is from the upcoming draft in June, the, like the rookies. It'll say like quarterback one, two, three, running back one, two, three. So I'll take all three XRC cards, and I'm just going to say like one spot gets this one, two spot gets this, three spot gets this one. And then we'll do a random of everybody, all the teams in there, and they'll just go to a team. So that, that's pretty much how XRC will work with uh, select football. I was going to do all three to one spot, but I just rather everybody, at least three people, get one card each onto it. Um, there's no checklist out yet by Panini on it. I can only go off of what they give me for the sell sheet. So what I see and know is in there type deal. Um, that's pretty much it. They should not give me rubber bands because now I don't want to shoot them at things. Let me stop this recording.